In this video, I'm going to explain two options of getting a stuck broken axle out of any side by side. Stick around to the end and I'll give you my thoughts on which option works best. As always, please show your support by hitting the subscribe button. Number one, an axle puller tool. After a long weekend of having multiple axles get stuck after being broken in our lifted Ranger we used to have, I started searching for a better option to see about getting these stuck axles out. I came across this axle puller tool and it caught my attention because it eliminated the risk of possibly damaging the case by pressing on it. Now the bonus was it's compact and easy to store in the toolbox on trips. Now to work it, it's an easy attachment process. You attach the tool by sliding it over the damaged axle cup and tightening bolts down on each side. Once installed, you use a slide weight to apply the jerk pressure you need to have the C-clip release in the hub. This will allow the axle to pop out. Number two, the pry bar method. Now, if you're stuck at a park and don't have time to wait on getting the tool, this method might help you out. I'm not saying this is the best way to get a stuck axle out of your machine. I'm only explaining what method I've used in the past in these types of situations that's worked for us. So please take it for what it is. The tools we used were a pry bar and a rubber mallet. Now if you don't have a mechanic hand pry bar, then you can use a crowbar in its place. It might not work as good, but it'll still get the job done. I do use a rubber mallet to lower the risk of damaging the transmission case, but if you don't have one, I have used a mini sledge before. Just be very careful because you can cause big damage real quick if you hit the wrong thing. Start off with placing the pry bar tip between the transmission case and the axle cup. While applying pressure to the axle cup, you'll slightly tap the opposite side. It might take a few taps depending on how stuck it is, but it'll eventually come out. There's a C-clip you're applying pressure to, so it will push down where the axle will slide out. In conclusion, if you have a stuck axle on your side-by-side, -side, then one of these two methods is your best option of getting the axle out. Now I suggest buying the tool and making it easier on yourself with less risk of damaging other parts of your machine. But if you're stuck at the park right now and need to get something unstuck, then be careful using option two. Check out the description of this video for links to all the products we mentioned. Using the links in our description to buy these products helps us to continue to bring you great information like this video. Please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. If this video has helped you, then please smash the like button and thank you for watching.